Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. If you've never been here before, my name is Trent and I appreciate you coming to watch this video. If you have been here before, I appreciate you coming back. Today we're checking out the Kudu Contour 125. Now this is the two blade version. The Contour Plus is the four blade. I used the Plus last year during a hunt to kill a doe. And it was performed really well. The blood trail was a little scattered, but blood trails are just so variable. So many things could happen. I can't blame that on one instance with that particular broadhead. Now these are a cool broadhead. They're single bevel. If you've never used a single bevel before, this is probably a really good place to get started because they aren't terribly expensive. I don't remember off the top of my head what it goes for a three pack, but it's typically a lot less than most other single bevels. Now, if you've never been here before, the way we test fixed blades is we pull it right out of the package and we put it on the sharpness meter. I want to see how sharp it is right when you get it. And then after that, we go back to 37 yards here in my backyard and shoot it a balloon. I'm looking for field point accuracy. After that, I shoot it through ballistics gel. I want to see what kind of wound channel that this broadhead creates. Then we shoot it through a fence slat that's about a half inch thick and I'm just looking at blade durability. And then after that, I test the edge for, again to see how well it held up. I want to see what kind of edge retention it has. I want to make sure it's staying sharp when it's going through hell. So without further ado, let's get to testing. Alrighty, there's that wound channel. You can see it starts out kind of flat and it rotates going through. It made about, oh, a 30 degree rotation. It's exactly what you'd expect to see out of a single bevel. So that's a really awesome wound channel. I'm actually really happy with that. Nice wide cut. It's two blade, but it's a two blade broadhead. So what do you expect? Right there's the entry wound on leather. Exactly what you expect to see out of a two blade. Entry. See how that's split? What you're seeing is the rotational splitting force of a single bevel broadhead. That is what it does to bone when it hits bone. This split is from the energy of splitting this. So that's why people choose single bevels for in case they hit heavy bone is it splits rather than tries to punch through. Of course, entry, exit, nothing to write home about. Yeah, that broadhead completely, completely and entirely unscathed. Not surprised. Kudu Contour. Out of the pack of sharpness, thumbs down. I shoot for 150, it was 225. Flew just like a field point. The wound channel is what I expect out of a two blade single bevel. You know, it was a slit that rotated, but it's just a slit that rotated. So it's like, yes, it's a good wound channel. It's what I expect out of this head, but there are better wound channels out there. So it's kind of a toss up, you know? Durability, it excelled. I totally expected that. And it retained its edge perfectly. 225 to start, 225 to finish. The Kudu, Contour is a phenomenal head. I shot a deer with a Contour Plus last year. I didn't have a great blood trail, but blood trails are so variable. You can't always count on them. The deer, however, died in 40 yards. So I, I can't complain, like I can't be mad at that. And I would expect the same level of awesome performance out of the Contour.